What is up, everyone? Welcome back to the Crypto Blitz, your home for your crypto fix. I'm your host, Ripple Van Winkle. Hopefully, everyone's having an amazing Saturday. It's the weekend. No work. Clear skies. Feet up. Naps. Relaxing. What's not to be better than that? It's just absolutely amazing. If you ask me, I love it. Every day needs to be the weekend. Oh, wouldn't that be the life? Hopefully next year when XRP does its freaking thing. But in this video, talking about XRP, we're going to look at the chart. We're going to look at a clip from Apex that I was supposed to show you last video, but we ran out of time. I got you covered. Then we're going to jump into a video from Keith that he sent me talking about the price of XRP, looking at resistance, where we're at, what we're currently battling, the next move up. I got you covered. We need to jump into this thing because we got a lot to go over. Bitcoin, $66,579. It's currently up 3.69%. In the past 24 hours, Ethereum coming out of 3,488, it's up 2.27 percent. USDT and USDC both coming in at their dollar pegs as XRP 58 cents and wants to be 59 cents. And that just a tell, it's now just a tad bit, excuse me, but it is up over six and a half percent in the past 24 hours. Total cryptocurrency market cap two trillion four hundred and forty three billion. Now, with it being Saturday, with it being an amazing day in the summer vibes, and summertime is here, get yourself one of these amazing cups, super, super cheap prices. Free shipping, Solana XRP, we got the engraved whiskey glasses, koozies, and the number one seller, which is almost sold out, the second batch already, I think there's around 20-something left. These are your whiskey sets, folks, just $54.99, and they ship for free. Eight cubes, two glasses, tongs, an engraved box. I mean, it is absolutely beautiful. Link is down below. XRP price rises as new SEC meeting date leads to Ripple settlement speculation. Here's what I want to tell you right now. This whole Sunshine Act, these meetings, it's complete nonsense, folks. They happen weekly. Uh, it's even weekly or like bi-weekly. Well, they happen often. How about that? Just to, to make it, put a little vague terminology behind it. This has nothing to do with the Ripple lawsuit. The SEC just doesn't have one lawsuit that is going right now, and it's just against Ripple. They have 100 beyond 100 of lawsuits that are going on. We don't know about all of them because we don't look into it because we do not care. And we wouldn't care what the SEC was doing if they weren't suing Ripple. That is just the straight up truth behind it and me being honest. And I mean, it's true, right? What, what do you care? When have you ever looked into the SEC before you got involved in the crypto or even before you got involved in XRP? People that hold Cardano and Solana, they don't care about the SEC because they're not under attack. These meetings have nothing to do with settlement. Is settlement coming? I don't know. Listen, we can call it settlement. We can call it the end of the lawsuit. I like to call it the end of the lawsuit. I don't think there's going to be a settlement. I do believe the end of the lawsuit is coming. We're going to see it this year at some point. We'll probably get a little bit of a pump. But we, as you know, those pumps do not last. Just the same thing as we saw what happened when the XRP ruling that it wasn't a security. Yeah, we had a crazy parabolic pump. But what happened if you actually zoomed in and looked at the pump that occurred from that? It came right back down to where it was. I think it actually went lower. Those pumps don't last. But it's going to be fun. And it's going to be nice to get this thing fully behind us. Egra Crypto put this up. XRP is on the move. He says we need to close above 64 cents to make a higher high from the past push up, which was at 63 cents. I'm going to get more into details and more into debt on this in just one second. But I want to show you this clip. This has come over from, and this is, I think this is part of Ripple's data dump, over 50 videos on the website. This is from the Apex conference that just went down. Um, they're talking about XRP proves to be the perfect use case for being used in games. It states in countries like Korea and Japan, if we can bring that XRP on chain through gaming, that can be a really big catalyst for the retail adoption of XRP and the XRP ledger. And you know where I'm going with this? We're going over to Lux after this because of the games. They got the preview. We're going to talk about what we're doing. We're going to talk about the games. And then we're jumping into the videos on the XRP charts. I'm going to show you all the key resistance. We're going to talk about the price, where we need to go, where the tough spots are going to be. Listen to this real quick. Looking at the intersection of XRP, gaming, and the APAC region, um, which is something that I'm very passionate and very excited about. Um, Looking at the APAC region, uh, that, uh, that region has the largest amount of XRP held out of any region in the entire world. 
And then you also look at what entertainment industries are the most popular in this region as well. It, it, is, it is gaming, right? And then we're looking at XRP as well, and if it is if it is good for gaming, and I believe it is a really strong asset for being used in these different gaming experiences. Um, and this is to do with the extremely high speed trend, uh, high uh, high speed transactions, um, and extremely deep global liquidity. Uh, transaction speed and and cost is extremely important for games, which are constantly distributing rewards, and and players are constantly making on-chain transactions. It needs to be fast and cheap. And deep global liquidity is extremely important because if you have a token as a core currency within your game, it needs to be easily able to be acquired by any of these players from anywhere on the globe, right? And I think that's a very powerful thing with XRP and its, and its um, presence on, you know, globally and, and on so many different global exchanges. Um, it, it, it provides the perfect use case for being used in gaming. So I think when looking at trying to activate uh, more retail utility for XRP, looking at the APAC region is extremely important. There is so much XRP held there and gaming is so ingrained in their culture. All right, let's stop it there. So the APAC region games, listen, games on every other chain has caused a major price catalyst. Games is a very, very big use case. Where is Lux going with this? I tell you to get your NFTs. I need to update these numbers. It's over 700,000, over way over more than 13 million views. These NFTs, A, are going to earn you XRP back. B, will be able to be staked. C, will be able to use in-game for in-game rewards down the pipeline. Here's a little preview clip. You might have seen this. I haven't really showed it off, but check this out. This is Lux Warfare. This game is built out on top of the XRP Ledger. This is your Call of Duty shooting type game. There's eight different game modes. There's over 32 guns, currently eight characters, which can be expanded as well. We can put as many characters in as we want into this game. As stated, it's built on top of the XRP Ledger. There will be a full wagering system. Your NFTs will be able to be used in game to battle. Okay, this is going to be a catalyst to bring even more adoption to the XRP Ledger scene. Now we get over to the video from Keith. This is Keith. Keith has his own channel, his own show. One of the smartest people I've ever seen in the crypto space when it comes to TA. Very, very truthful. A lot of insight. And, you know, he just gives you straight up information. I want you to look where the current resistant levels are on XRP. Screen right there. That's the current price. And you can see what that current price is starting to run into as far as resistance. Resistance from 2017, resistance from 2018. So that green dotted line is the current price of XRP when making this video. He is going to show you right now all of the resistance areas. Resistance is not good. You need to battle above resistance in order to push the price back up. But the problem is with XRP, we've been so stagnant for so freaking long. We haven't had a new all-time high since 17, which means we have a lot of resistance at these current levels. Just watch. You'll see all the circles and where we're off. Just above June 19, that's good. Problem is you've got resistance on 2020, 2021, 2021, 2022, you're above this one. That's good. Problem. You're resigning right into resistance from 2023, 2024, 2024. All of this is resistance that the price has to try to push through. The problem is that ain't easy. It's very difficult to push through resistance. The more you have of it, the harder it is to push through. This is why I've often said that XRP is in a bad spot because there's more resistance on this chart. It's older. It took longer. It consolidated to the right farther. All that created resistance. While it did create support, it also created resistance. So look at the positives and the negatives pair. We have support, which is great, meaning it's going to be very tough to see a free for all down on XRP. That's why we held, held those upper 40 cent regions 
oh so well. But now what are we facing? Resistance to the upside. How do we get buy resistance? We need a lot of money, a lot of buying coming into XRP to break through these levels. Now if we fast forward to about the six minute mark, Keeb's gonna break down his scenario of how he thinks XRP plays out for later this year, which is going to help lead us to that push up next year. Remember, 75 cents. I think the big move happens on this until later. Uh, I think the big move is yet to come, uh, and that'll probably be over here somewhere in November, which is post-election. It's happened this way two other times on XRP, and I'll show you that again here. Here is 2020 over here. All right. Right over here is the buy zone in 2020. Same spot we are now. Same little move up we've done right over here. And then after that, you see we had this nice sweep and breakout here before it made a bit of a triple top and slowed down. We're doing the same thing right now. See? You had that little bit of a breakout. We could do a big sweep and move up before we do a triple top and break down in this November area. That's my hopeful logic. That's what I'm hoping happens because that would make the most sense because XRP's done this two other times, not just one other time. Here's the first time it did it, which is back in 2016. All right, here's 2016. You had this very abrupt move up with a secondary move after that. It eventually made a bit of a triple top. It slowed down and rolled over till after the quote unquote last chance line. It, show, it slowed down a little bit, kind of back tested trend line and took off before the halfway mark. You see that, that halfway mark here? That's halfway between halving and the end of the bull run. Same thing happened over here in 2020. See that? Here's last chance just before Halfway was up in December. It made its move up. That was after it made its move up in November. And then the lawsuit hit and all that crap, right? Nonetheless, it started its move up, hesitated, and it made another move. Now, this started back in November of 2020. Here we are again. Similar story, right? We started our move up. and may get one more push before we trickle over and matriculate sideways to the trend line. Set over here in November somewhere. We'll find our buy zone. From there, we should get our more aggressive move up. I don't really think it's worth it, quote unquote, for me to be in this until later on in November. There you go. Look, it's playing out just like it did the previous two cycles, right? We could see a little bit of a sweep higher before we come back down, do a little bit of a retrace before we get that last buy zone, before we get that push up, that parabolic move. It's coming. It 100% is, is coming. I've been telling you since January of 2024, our move, our powerful move is 2025. A lot of you thought I was nuts. A lot of you thought I was crazy, but it doesn't look like I'm actually that crazy. Now, does it? Folks, patience, patience, patience. Enjoy your day. I'll catch you tomorrow. Wash your damn hands. Be nice and be kind to of each other. Ripple Van Winkle is out.